Good morning guys, it's Monday. If there's a racket going on in the background of this, that's because as I said in my last video, having my kitchen redone, they're so loud because it's right underneath my bedroom. But today is shoot day, I'm excited. Um, so I'm doing a shoot for a girl who is from Coventry Uni. So she's traveling down to where I am and we're gonna have a nice little shoot. Um, I'm gonna be her model for her uni work. Um, but I currently look a wreck, so I need to actually sort that out. My hair. I mean, cute, right? Um, so she wants me to have massive wavy hair, so I'm gonna take that out after I do my makeup, but I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me doing my makeup now. Just thought that'd be interesting. Well, off this song. Stand and see. Where else shall I go? I did dance to that one, so my besties. Chasing you. Right, let's go. And I'm going to show you my outfit and everything in a bit. Transformation, let it begin. from Primark. These jeans from Zara and then I need to put on some shoes. Um, I've just done my hair in a half up half down which looks so much better. Um, it's still crazy so hopefully that'll be fine but I'm just about to leave now and hopefully I'll be able to get some footage whilst I'm on the shoot. So see you there! AJ Tracy live and direct. Look at me. The shoot is done. That literally took half an hour. Bashed it out, which was good. I'm now just going to quickly pop into town. Oh my god, I actually can't deal with my hair. What is going on? <laughs> um. I'm now just going to pop into town because I need to go to the bank and then I'm going to go home and have some lunch. My hair, man. It looks a bit better now, to be fair. 
Well, it doesn't, does it? No, okay, it doesn't. I'm just lying to myself. I'm now just on my way home to make some lunch. Um, and then me and Abby are going to paint some chairs for some props for my show. So I will show you a little bit of that, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's a good day, you know. I feel like, are you even human if you don't put on your dressing gown when you walk through the door and you know you're not going back out again? <coughs> It's literally not even two o'clock. I don't even know what the time is. I think it's like half one. Yeah, half one. I've got my dressing gown on over my clothes. Um, I thought I would show you what I got. So, let's start with Primark. My hair, I'm just gonna leave it like this. It doesn't look as bad as it did earlier. I'd hope so, not anyway. Um, so, oh, receipt fleece thing now this was the coziest thing ever it's like fleece material on the inside and like borg material on the outside it's literally that i feel like it's kind of ugly but it's also kind of cute do you know what i mean like i love a good fleece i've always worn fleeces um and this is just oversized i got it in a 10 to 12 which is the size up from me it's 10 pound instead of 20 in the sale it's got this pocket which is like a different material i think that's so cute it's like corduroy and then it's got two pockets i think it's just so handy to have especially if like you're going on a dog walk or you've got to just go and teach and you just need something to shove on and it's not cold enough to wear a coat but you want something thick that kind of vibe so i got that and i really like the color actually it's like caramelly kind of beige so i got that um i also got this boiler suit now i've been looking for a boiler suit forever <coughs> and if you know me i'm so stingy with money um when it comes to items of clothing and like basically anything um so i saw this boiler seat in primark and i saw it was 10 pound in the sale reduced from 25 like Hold up a second. I am the queen of bargains. I just am. Everybody else move over, do you know what I mean? But anyway, this I thought would look so cute with a white roll neck underneath, but I don't have a white roll neck, but Primark also didn't have a white roll neck. I've got other roll necks I'm gonna try on underneath, but I think it would go better with a light colored one. But anyway, it's short sleeve, which, so I wanted a boiler suit, yeah, but I don't always like wearing like long sleeve things, especially if I'm going out somewhere, because I get so hot so easily. But I thought maybe with a roll neck underneath, if I got too hot, I can just take it off, do you know what I mean? But I love layered things, so like the sleeves would just come out here, or I just wear it on its own. Like, it's like a piece that I could wear with a fur coat or with nothing in the spring, do you know what I mean? So got these little tortoiseshell buttons which I love it's quite a thin denim which I love too and then it just goes down and then you can obviously roll up the legs and stuff I really like the sleeves rolled up um I just think this is really cute and like I could obviously have it done up all the way to the top or undone like there's loads of different ways I haven't tried it on yet I probably should have tried it on but I didn't want to pay more than an hour on a parking ticket <coughs> honestly this girl um, but yeah, it's a thin denim, so I think it'll be really nice and light, um, and it won't obviously get too hot, but I love it. So I'm going to try that one in a little bit and see what it looks like. Um, then in m and I got a couple of bits, but they're in the fridge. <laughs> Basically, because obviously we don't have an oven or anything at the moment. We need like things that we can use with the microwave. Um, so for a treat, I got a beef cannelloni microwave meal and never have microwave meals ever it's not a thing in our house but um i decided to treat myself because i've had their lasagna before and it's so good so i thought i'd try this and then um i also just got like a couple of picnicky bits like sausage rolls sausages that kind of vibe then from tk maxx i got two candles this one they're both from the purity lab um they were both 2.99 which i think is so good um they're quite a good size as well and if you can see that oh my god it's gorgeous i love it it smells like men's aftershave 
I always used to have like citrusy candles and stuff and I love citrusy candles and like I'm not a fan of like the vanilla-y Christmassy like sickly ones I like plain vanilla but anything else I'm like Ugh. but this is so fresh I'm gonna burn it in a bit um, I've been really into getting into candles um, I mean I've always burnt candles but recently I'm just like candles so yeah I got that so cute I also got another one but <coughs> I think it's in, yeah, it's in the Christmas jumper. The man was like, just put it in the Christmas jumper, it won't smash. This one, Purity Lab again. Pine Spice. It's a, um, <clears throat> it's an Australian brand. Oh, it smells like Christmas. I don't think I've ever had a proper Christmas candle, you know. And I, again, I, like I said, I don't like the sweet, sickly scents, but this, because we don't have a real Christmas tree, um, well, we don't really have a Christmas tree. Um, this just smells so good. I'm definitely going to burn that in December. And that was also two ninety nine, and that's massive. And I think for two ninety nine each, their pots and stuff are so cute. I love like you can pay like twenty pound for a Yankee, like that size. So yeah. Anyway, then I got the Christmas jumper. I've wanted a Christmas jumper for ages now. I haven't had one in years. Um, and I love this fluffy material at the moment. It's such a vibe. I much prefer it to like actual woolly jumpers. And look. Fa la 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 ma. <laughs> look how cute. I love it. I actually love it. There were so many different designs of these and there were so many different colours as well. There was like greys, pinks, reds, greens um, and they all had different sayings and stuff on them but I just loved this one. I thought it was so cute and I got it in a medium um, just to make sure that it's like oversized and comfy but I loved this. I thought it was so cute and like the pom-poms and stuff and it was only £13 which I think is really good for a Christmas jumper especially when it's got all that stuff on it and it's fluffy and cute so I know that's going to last me a few years. Um, so I got that. And then finally, I got this sports bra. Now, basically, every single time I go into TK Maxx, there's so much stuff that I want, and I never get it. I always, like, restrain myself. I'm like, no, I don't need it. I have about 20,000 sports bras, okay? You've probably seen my sports bra haul on here. If not, I will link it below. Or just scroll down and you'll find it. I saw this, and I was like, I have to get it. I just have to get it. So here I am, getting it. <clears throat> it's a Calvin Klein sports bra but I didn't get it because it was Calvin Klein like it obviously I, I was drawn to it because it said Calvin Klein because I don't wear designer things like I don't, I don't think I have anything designer no I don't have anything designer oh I have Calvin Klein socks <laughs> but I don't have anything designer like I don't have the Calvin Klein bralettes or anything but I just love the shape of this it's really hard to show because it's a crisscross back um, but as you can see there we go the shape is just so nice and i think it will look so nice on and then it's just a crisscross back and i thought this will be perfect for teaching and stuff um and it's quite thin as well which i really like it doesn't have the cups i hate cups in sports bras um so yeah i couldn't really resist it was 35 pounds reduced to 15 pounds in tk max which i thought was such a good bargain um, especially for a designer brand so I treated myself to that today um, but yeah that's everything I got basically I'm now just gonna wait for Abby to finish work I might edit this vlog um, so far and then we're gonna paint the chairs so see you in a bit hi <laughs> I can't even see you hi hi <laughs> hi go look go right up can you shove it up in that corner it's like a hidden camera. So we're painting chairs, aren't we? Yeah. Do you want to show your chair? I want it that way. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say. I want it that way. <laughs> I can't remember how we did this. If we just paint like that. Oh, this one you can see.
see what we haven't um, really sanded in. It's yeah. <laughs> so boggly. You're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't wanna hear. Why am I holding this like a literal cave bag? <laughs> I'm like this. of watermelon raspberry apple and lime juice oh my god so good if you saw my vlog yesterday i bought these juices mm. so refreshing um but i'm now just gonna try on the clothes that i bought today and chill so i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know and i will see you in my next video bye